number one and hopefully this is the one that you don't use unfortunately this is the one i find quite often and that is just passing your romex through this is 12 2 romex so we have two conductors and one bare ground we just pass it through cut back sheathing and then start to wire that into the circuit next up is almost as simple but we do solve one of those problems and that is a simple plastic bushing this is a half inch bushing we can pass that through now we are protected, right? So we're not gonna be exposed to the sharp metal to cut through our sheathing and our conductors, but we have no strain relief. Nothing is gonna hold this wire into your box. So you're not gonna be able to maintain code, which would be cutting back the sheathing to here, and then at least six inches of conductors coming out with a minimum of three inches from the surface of the box. Now, number three kind of steps it up, right? Now we have some strain relief. This is a plastic NM cable connector and it's three eighths. Now in this case, we inserted that from the outside of the box and then our non-metallic could pass through into the box. Now we are both protecting that non-metallic and also now I can't pull it out. I have strain release. So that's number three. Now I'll pass this through. The challenge comes, what if I had drywall coming out to there, right? I would not have access to put this cable connector from the outside. Well, you're in luck because there is an exact cable connector for that. Now this looks very similar, right? To our option number three, it's just those tabs are in the opposite direction for strain relief. Why is that and when is it handy? Well, it can be super handy if you're fishing fish wire through that knockout and we had drywall here and you're pulling your Romex through, that means you can pull your Romex into your box, most likely more like into your main panel or sub panel. And then you could take this guy and you could actually feed that through down through your Romex. It'll give you a little bit of resistance, but with a little effort, you can push it through. And then you just work that connector to where you want it on the Romex. And then from the inside, you could go ahead and secure that connector, right? So that's the main difference. You're not gonna be able to do that with option number three. And number five is kind of cool. And this is the last plastic one. You'd have to insert it from the outside. So you'd have to have the access there. You would then take off this small little gate here and then that's when we would pass through our Romex. You'd get it to where you want it in terms of length, and then you would insert that gate and then press that down. If you need to, you can use your strippers, your hybrid strippers or your clients. And then now here is our strain relief, right? So we're protected. There is our strain relief. Now, first up on metal, I used to see these in older houses in my area as a two-piece connector. So what you do is you're able to pass that through the knockout, but then you kind of got to expand it out to hold it in place. And then you would pass your Romex inside. So that would both give us the protection we're looking for. And then also the strain relief because we're able to go ahead and clamp the two pieces down on a Romex. So next up we have number seven and number eight. From the one side, pretty much just look the same but in terms of how they hold into the knockout, they are quite a bit different. Number seven here is a 3 8 inch metal cable clamp, and then that will just push into that knockout. And then that second option with the nut, you go ahead and tighten this on. And then to tighten it, it just depends. If I have access, I usually snug it up myself and then just use my hybrid wire strippers to then rotate that in place, tightening it up, and they also getting the screws positioned where I need them. Now, both of these are gonna be the same in terms of how they're gonna hold the Romex. You're gonna pass that through. You can pass one, you can pass one set, you can pass multiple sets. And again, your Robertson's gonna be your go-to for tightening that up. 